Molly Steffen. I'm from the Casita Chattahoochee Valley Public Library. And today we're going to do a craft that's based on the novel Harry Potter, the novel, the series Harry Potter. So here is the first novel of that series. It's called Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. This is a fantastic series. I'm sure that you have heard of it. It's also um, a bunch of movies were created based on the book. Um, so it's a fantastic book series. If you've only watched the movies and you haven't read the books, I definitely recommend reading the books. They are much better than the movies. The movies are great, but the books are much better as always. Um, but so today we're gonna we're gonna make some wands, some fake wands that are that are inspired by the book series. So the book, if you haven't seen the movies or if you haven't read the books, they're they're wizards, a bunch of teenage preteen teenage wizards that. Um, that are a part of this wizarding world. Um, and so t we're doing a wand today because they use wands to cast their spells. Um, all right, so again, it's based on the, this novel, Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, or the whole, the whole book series. So today, before we start the craft, I'm gonna just read the little summary of, of the book. And you can get all all seven books at the library. You can also get the movies too, if you're interested in the movies. So, Harry Potter has never been the star of a Quidditch team, scoring points while riding a broom far above the ground. He knows no spells, has never helped to hatch a dragon, and has never worn a cloak of invisibility. All he knows is a miserable life with the Dursleys, his horrible aunt and uncle, and their abominable son Dudley, a great big swollen, spoiled bully. Harry's room is a tiny closet at the foot of the stairs and he hasn't had a birthday party in 11 years. But all that is about to change when a mysterious letter arrives by Owl, by Owl Messenger, a letter with an invitation to an incredible place that Harry and anyone who reads about him will find unforgettable. For it's for it's there that he finds not only friends, aerial sports, and magic in everything, from classes to meals, but a great destiny that has been waiting for him if Harry can survive the encounter. So Harry's life is not very good, and then when he turns 11 years old, um, he gets a letter in the mail from Hogwarts, which is the school he learns all his all the witchcraft at. So it's a very great series, and I have Hedwig here, which is spoiler alert, but it is an owl that he um, eventually gets in the book. Um, so today um, at the library there's also a craft book that you can that you can check out. It says the unofficial guide to crafting the world of Harry Potter. So within this book there are a bunch of crafts inspired by um, the book series. So these crafts Today we're going to do the pencil wand, but there are tons of crafts and it's good um, this month of, of October might be a good month to check this out, but there are tons of crafts you can do. And within the book you have the supplies you need, you have, um, and then step-by-step -step instructions with pictures, so it's great for kids to do um, um, as well. Um, Alright, so I am uh, going to put these books to the side so that I, I can um, do the craft without getting them messy. All right, so here's everything you need. Um, you have the pencil, of course. You need a hot glue gun. You need paint brushes, and you can use paint brushes like this, or you can use those foamy paint brushes. Um, I have my paint here. And you also need something called Mod Podge, which looks like uh, Elmer's glue, um, as a sealer at the end. I don't have that on the table, but I will show you in a minute um, what that looks like. All right, so the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna get hot glue gun and you're gonna um, use it at the very top, but you're only gonna go a fourth of the way down. This is gonna show kind of like, so a wand is typically carved out of wood. So it's not perfectly smooth like this pencil is, even though this pencil is made out of wood too, but the ones look a little jag, uh, jagged. So that's what we're gonna kind of simulate here. So we're gonna put the glue there and then we'll eventually paint it with this um, brown paint. 
So make sure you have an adult to do this part if you're 16 years or under. Um, hot glue guns can be dangerous. They are very, very hot, so make sure you have an adult to help you with this part. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna hold the pencil and you're gonna hold the hot glue gun and you're gonna twirl the pencil. And you're gonna go all the way around about a fourth of the way down um, the pencil. All right, so you're gonna stop, start at the top. I'm just gonna squirt it out. And it doesn't have to be uniform, it doesn't have to be the same, because really this is just supposed to simulate um, the, pen, the wand being carved out of wood. than a fourth of the way down. That's more like halfway down, but that's okay. Um, you might be able to tell from where you are what it looks like. It is clear, but I just went around um, kind of like a ribbon. Um, so with this, it takes, hot glue dries pretty quickly, but I would, I would make sure you wait at least a minute before you start painting. And again, don't touch this area because it is pretty hot. So I'm gonna wait a minute before I start painting. Okay, so it's been about a minute. My, pen, my glue is nice and dry, or and cool. So now I'm going to take my paintbrush. I'm gonna take my paint. I'm gonna start at the top and work my way down. I'm going to leave my eraser free because I do make a lot of mistakes so I need my eraser so that I can still use it. Um, but if you don't want, if you want to cover the eraser, that's up to you. I'm going to go as far as I can without getting my finger on it. And because I've, I've chosen not to do the eraser, um, I can hold it from that end. And you can tell it's kind of hard for the paint to um, stick a little bit. And I'm using um, acrylic paint. So you can see the little streaks. So this might be something it might need to dry and then come back and do like another coat over it. So that's what we're gonna do. And I'm gonna put it on this. Let it dry for a little bit in the book. This is about four to five hours. I'm not sure if it's gonna need that long. Um, but I'm gonna let it dry for a little bit and then I'm gonna come back and um, see if I need to touch it up again and then I'm gonna seal it with the Mod Podge. So I'll see you in a bit. Here is the almost finished product of my pencil wand. You can see that it's, that it's now brown and you can see where I did the hot glue and where I painted over it. Be like the handle of the wand. This does look um, pretty obvious, so when you do yours, if you want to paint this brown, um, that's up to you. If you paint the eraser, then you won't be able to use the eraser, but it will look, probably look a little bit better. But this one, um, you can still use the eraser, so that's why I did it that way. So the final step is doing sealing it so that it, it um, preserves longer, so that it lasts longer. So I'm gonna seal it with Mod Podge it's this right here. You can get it from any craft store. You can get it from Walmart. Um, when I first put it on, it might look a little um, white because Mod Podge is white, but it should dry clear. And I will show you. I will when it dries. I'll do another recording to show you what it looks like when it dries. So I'm gonna use my paintbrush and put Mod Podge over it, just like I would paint, just like I put the paint over it. And again, it's gonna be white, but it's gonna dry clear.
Okay, and here we go. And again, I'm gonna let it dry for maybe a, a couple hours before I get back and show you what it looks like. Hi, so here is the last little final product of it. It looks a lot like it did before I put the, um, the Mod Podge on it, but now the Mod Podge has dried. So you can kind of see what, what um, that it looks a little bit like a wand. Um, you can see that the white did go away. Um, it is nice and sealed now, so it's going to last a little bit longer than if you didn't put the Mod Podge sealer on it. So this is it. Now you can sharpen the pencil. Um, and you can use it just like normal. And again, if you want to cover up this part with paint, you can, but you won't be able to use the eraser if you do. It might look a little bit more like a wand if you do that, um, but then you won't be able to use it as an eraser. But here you go, I hope you enjoyed it.